Hello friends, in this video we are going to understand the block diagram of receiver used in the radar system and the most commonly used receiver is the superheterodyne receiver. So let's begin with the topic. <music> The radar system consists of transmitter and receiver. The transmitter of the radar is less complex to design as compared to the receiver of the radar. The receiver of the radar system should able to provide the better performance, should able to provide the reliable operation, should able to provide the accurate information and should able to detect the presence or absence of the object along with the amplification of the signal. The basic function of the receiver is to receive the signal from the target in the form of echo signal, amplify that signal so that it can be displayed on the screen. In earlier days, a radar system uses such type of receiver which is used only for the purpose of amplification of the signal to a level so that it can be displayed on the scene. Further, the data is given to the operator for finding out or detecting the position or location or presence or absence of object. But the nowadays, the modern radar system performs the same function. Along with the extraction of information, or amplification, it also provides the data which is used for automatic detection of presence or absence of the object. The most important parameter while we require to consider while designing the radar receiver are nothing but the accuracy, reliability, stability of the operation and type of waveforms used in the system. So on the basis of this parameter or all these parameters are get fulfilled by only one type of receiver and that is nothing but the superheterodyne receiver. So now let's move on to the block diagram of superheterodyne receiver. Before moving to the block diagram, let's first understand what we are going to discuss in this topic. And the points are, we have a discussion on uniqueness of superheterodyne principle that is amplification and filtering at low frequency operation. Then we will also discuss the filter and amplifier design. Then we'll have the discussion on tuning requirement. Then we will have a look of the super superheterodyne block diagram. And then we'll end the topic with the help of some MCQs. So let's first have a look of the block diagram of superheterodyne receiver. The superheterodyne receiver performs a main function of amplification and filtering of intermediate frequency which is having value less than the received echo signal frequency and the interference frequency. So this is considered as one of the advantage of superheterodyne receiver. Because of this, it is possible to design a superheterodyne receiver with low cost. Another advantage of the superheterodyne receiver is the tuning can be easily done by changing the frequency of local oscillator. In case of superheterodyne receiver, most of the time the receivers do not include the RF amplifier. The function is performed by a mixer. So now here the unit mixer is basically used for converting RF frequency to intermediate frequency that is IF. While conversion we require to consider losses in the mixture and it is defined as the ratio of RF input power to the IF output power. So this conversion plays an important role for operation of the mixer. The mixer basically uses silicon pin contact diode because of its non-linear characteristics. The output of the mixer is given to the IF amplifier. Now in case of receiver, in order to avoid or in order to remove or in order to increase signal to noise ratio or in order to remove the unwanted signal, the IF amplifier having similar characteristics of match filter. The match filter performs a function of removing unwanted signal from the wanted signal. It is also used for improving the signal to noise ratio of the system. So IF amplifier in case of radar receiver is designed to perform the same function as match receiver. Further the signal is given to the demodulator so that the signal is get demodulated and the original data will be available to the user. That means in this case the range or the position of object is get available to the user. Now in case of modern radar system most of the receiver uses threshold detection. That means the threshold detection, in case of threshold detection, a threshold level is set and when the received echo signal crosses that level, it indicates presence or absence of the object. Now here, duplexer is used. The function of duplexer is to allow the antenna to be used either as a transmitting antenna or as a receiving antenna. When the single antenna is used for the transmission and reception purpose, then we require to use a unit that is called as duplexer. So, when the antenna is controlled by receiver unit, then the duplexer allows the antenna to be used as a receiver antenna and the antenna receives the echo signal along with some noise signal. So, in case of receiver, the noise is either generated internally 
or it may be entered into the antenna system. As the receiver or the radar or system operates at high frequency, therefore very less amount of noise is get entered through an antenna terminal. And then next block in the receiver is nothing but RF signal processor. The signal received from the antenna is required to be processed so that it can provide the information related to the position or location of the object. So the RF frequency or RF signal processing unit is used. Further mixer is used for converting the RF input from RF signal processor into the IF frequency with the help of local oscillator. And the output of the IF amplifier, that is nothing but output of the mesh filter is further given to the demodulator. Now here coherent oscillator is used which is considered as a standard oscillator and represented by COHO. The output of the coherent oscillator is applied to a demodulator unit as well as to SSB modulator and SSB modulator also receives its input from the local oscillator. As modulator requires two frequency for modulating the signal that is one is the carrier frequency and other is modulated signal so that is provided by using the local oscillator and coherent oscillator. The output of the SSB modulator is then further applied to the transmitter. So this is how the superheterodyne block diagram works in case of radar receiver. As superheterodyne receiver fulfill all the requirement of the application and therefore it is most commonly used type of receiver in case of radar system. Now let's move to the multiple choice question. The first question is following is not type of receiver and the options are option A is super regenerative, option B is tuned radio frequency that is TRF, option C is super heterodyne and option D is glass tube duplexer and the answer for this question is Option D that is the glass tube duplexer as its name indicates it is a duplexer therefore it cannot be a type of receiver. Now let's move to the next question. The statement of the question is normally it is practice to use intermediate mixer at the input of the radar receiver and the options are false or true and the option is option B that is true. The statement given is a true statement that is normally we use or the radar receiver use intermediate mixer at the input of the radar receiver. Now let's move to the next question. And the question is the conversion loss in the mixture is defined as option A ratio of input reflection to the output reflection, option B ratio of RF power to the RF power, option C ratio of available RF power to the available IF power, and option D is the attenuation caused at the input of the mixer. The conversion loss in the mixture plays a very important role while converting RF frequency into IF frequency and therefore we can say option C is considered as a right option. The ratio of available RF power to the available IF power is nothing but the conversion loss in case of mixture. Usually the mixture provide 5 to 6.5 dB of conversion loss. So while designing the receiver we also require to consider conversion loss in case of mixer as important parameter in the designing of the receiver. So this is what about the superheterodyne principle which is used in the radar receiver as it fulfills all the requirements required by the receiver system or the radar system. So I hope you understand this topic. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.